And thank you to Maurice Benbridge. Thank you, Peter. The sterling work, and thanks to our pupils. Hope you've enjoyed it at home. Please join us again next week for some more golf. Good night. And in fact, Peter Alice will be back at the same time tomorrow afternoon, 1.35, when he's joined by guest professional John Stark, who demonstrates ways of avoiding some of the more common faults when learning how to master the game of golf. And the competition's hotting up on BBC One in the form of Rugby Union from Twickenham as the 110th Varsity match kicks off between Oxford and Cambridge. Here on BBC Two, in just under five minutes, Look Stranger presents a profile of beekeeper Peter Springall, a Londoner who firmly believes in the benefits of talking to his insects. Well, that's after a look at the news now on BBC Two with Jenny Bond. Good afternoon. The European Community Summit in Maastricht is deadlocked over the issue of social policy. Britain has rejected a compromise suggested by the Dutch presidency and officials are now considering whether the British should be allowed to opt out of the social chapter of the treaty. The Dutch have tried to find a compromise on social policy. So far they've failed to satisfy the British or the French who want Britain to opt out rather than dilute the treaty any further. Our objections to it are not that we don't think that the community has a, a social dimension, of course it does, but uh, a substantial amount of the uh, social side of life in Britain is handled in an entirely different way uh, to the way it's handled in other European countries. Ministers believe the social charter would damage our competitiveness. They're stressing they do want to deal at Maastricht and a second opt-out clause might allow them to sign. But it would also increase British isolation and there'll be hard bargaining for further concessions in the hours ahead. A close advisor to President Gorbachev is quoted as saying that the Soviet leader will soon resign. Mr Gorbachev is strongly opposed to the setting up of a Commonwealth to replace the Soviet Union. 48 hours from now, both chambers of the Soviet Parliament will meet in emergency session to debate this constitutional crisis. Mikhail Gorbachev has denounced the Slavic Accord as dangerous and illegal, but he looks powerless to stop it from becoming a reality. Today, one of his closest advisers, Georgi Shaknazarov, has been quoted as saying, we will not have to wait long for the resignation of President Gorbachev and his team. And two other headlines, a lawyer acting for the liquidator investigating the Maxwell pension funds has said there were dealings in them after Robert Maxwell died. One person has been killed and many others injured in a series of road crashes in freezing fog. Pile-ups on the M62 and A1 in West Yorkshire both involved about 50 vehicles each. And that's it for now. We'll have more at three. <laughs> Hello, and there are still some nasty fog patches, especially in northeast England. But drier air is spreading up from the continent, so hopefully less fog tomorrow and a quicker clearance too. But some of these fog patches persisting through the afternoon, temperatures staying around freezing point or even slightly below as we go through the afternoon. And tonight, further fog, especially in the north, but a few fog patches in the south as well. More important, perhaps for many of us, a severe frost in many places, in the West Midlands particularly, a damaging frost, minus 9 is just 16 degrees Celsius, and a repeat performance tomorrow. Now on BBC Two, we meet a beekeeper who believes in talking to his insects. Look stranger.